Hi, so I will be going over the first and second grade visual arts standard under creating. Um, it's called Generate and Conceptualize Artistic Ideas and Work, um, or otherwise known as the 1-2.v-cr-01. Um, and basically, um, the students get to use a wide variety of 2D and 3D materials. This is a teacher-directed lesson, um, and basically, the students are shown a specific artist that uses the similar materials that the students would in the classroom. Um, so repurpose materials to create um, some sort of sculpture, um, like toilet paper rolls, things like that, or um, collages, which is what I will be focusing on. Um, and my specific artist is Greg Mike, and I'm very excited to show him and share him with you. So when I would introduce this standard to first and second graders, I think I would first introduce Greg Mike. Um, he is from Atlanta, Georgia. Um, he is a street artist or a muralist. Um, that means that you can find a lot of his artwork um, on the street, on the sides of buildings. He gets a lot of his inspiration from um, familiar cartoon characters you can see here but he's most famous for this kind of looking guy this blue guy loudmouth Larry and these characters always are smiling in his uh, murals and if I scroll down you can see he um, often incorporates loudmouth Larry with these incredible realistic paintings and um, Greg Mike's medium of choice is spray paint um, but for the activity I have planned um, we will be doing a collage, meaning that everything we create will be um, either cut and pasted together. Um, we won't be, um, unfortunately, using spray paint um, like Greg Mike does. That would be super cool, but not the best when working with first and second graders. So since this is a teacher-directed lesson, um, I probably would create something like this. Um, it's an idea sheet and it has all different types of loudmouth larrys, different types of mouths, different eyes, um, different types of accessories. So they would be able to utilize this idea sheet, my idea sheet, to create their own ideas is the concept. Um, and then they would get a copy of one of these um, and inside they would get to plan out their own loudmouth larrys. Um, and something super fun about um, Greg Mike is that he sometimes likes to give them little talk bubbles um, and let them say something inspirational, something cute. Um, I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Here on the student's idea sheet, they get to create three different loudmouth larrys, trying out different shapes and lines. Now, boys and girls, remember that we are making a collage after all, and that means that we are only cutting and gluing. We are not painting, we are not drawing, we are not coloring onto our collage. We are only cutting and pasting things on to our loudmouth larry. Um, so you'll need scissors and glue, maybe a tracing utensil like a pencil that is easily to be erased, um, some dark colored paper that you can use for the inside of the mouth, um, some white that for the eyes and for the teeth. I find it easier if you trim the paper to the size of the mouth that you're going to use for Larry. That way when the kids are drawing, if they use those big honking teeth, it'll line up just right um, with Larry's mouth. Um, some pink for the tongue um, and some blue or green or whatever color you want his little irises to be. And then any extra scraps you can use for eyebrows or eyelashes or mustaches or whatever gets you go. So we don't need to glue all of Massachusetts down to loudmouth Larry's little face. So whenever you are gluing, remember you only need a few glue dots around the edges. Also, we are working on our craftsmanship. So we don't want those pesky pencil lines showing. So whenever you are gluing, make sure you are gluing down the side that has pencil marks or remember to erase them. That's my loudmouth Larry. I really love this lesson because the students are able to see a new artist, um, a young artist, and somebody who does street art. How taboo is it for a kid to see graffiti and it be welcomed? Um, and not only that, but they get to see how Greg Mike turns old ideas like Tom and Jerry or Mickey Mouse and things like that and create them into his own ideas and he adds in his own flair like Loudmouth Larry and then the students get to then 
take Loudmouth Larry and create their own ideas from that. Um, and in a different medium as well. Like they're not painting, they're not just drawing it, but they're like recreating it um, in a 2D form. Um, and while they're working on their shapes and forms and lines and cutting and, you know, things like that. Um, just an overall really solid project.